What's up? Welcome to a unusual video. This is going to be different from uh, my typical videos because it's not going to be a reaction to one song. It's going to be a reaction to three songs. The reason I do this is because I just wanted to like organize the content a bit better. I know that uh, not a lot of people uh, turn up to watch like smaller bands because they're more interested in the bigger ones. So I wanted to sort of organize the content better so that it's more compact in some sense. Now, this is not going to be a regular thing. I don't want to... Um I don't want to do the same thing that I did with Underground Monday where I started doing it and I did it for a couple of weeks and then I completely just scrapped it. Uh, so this is not going to be regular. This is only when I get enough smaller songs together to react to. And yeah, that's that's just how it is. Today we have three bands. We have Frontiers, we have Audience of Rain, and we have Sentinel. Two of them reached out to me quite recently. One of them was recommended to me a lot uh, through my comments, and that's how I saw it. I'm talking about, of course, Sentinels. It's the, I guess, the more known band out of the three. So we are going to go from Frontiers to Audience of Rain to Sentinels right now. And that's about all I have to say. So let's get into our first one. Let's get into Frontiers. They reached out to me. We reacted to one of their songs like a year ago. This one is called Firstborn Blessing. Let us get into it. Forgot to mention, I will be rating these songs out of 10 by the end of the reaction. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Starting off rather weirdly I don't really like the the drum sound I feel like it could have been a bit more punchier big heavy uh, ambience Ooh. a lot of gents <laughs> Oh! That's sharp. Ooh! I like that. I like that a lot. This is like a chorus part, right? I think so. It had a bit more melody with ambience. Ooh. I like this. A synth is very cosmic, very space. <laughs> very space, yes. Okay, dropping out. Drop back in. Ooh. That was a cool effect. Love that. It's like a backward slap. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Ooh, that is... That's a lot of things. <laughs> we have a guitar solo in the middle of the second verse. Ooh. Jesus. Nice. I love that. I love that uh, motif. It's very hopeful. <laughs> Is that the word? Nice. Super. There's a lot of these drops, which 
aren't bad. Kind of add to the atmosphere of the song, especially this part. This is nice. <laughs> oh my god, the whole song would get the choppy- oh, oh, we get the choppy genty parts. Only now to have this sludgy, disgusting breakdown. I love this. And that was it. That was that was it from Frontiers. Firstborn Blessing. Wow. Uh, I mean, this is cool. This is actually very, very cool. Very different track. Uh, not what I expected, certainly. It had a pretty wacky, crazy structure that was a bit hard to follow on the first listen. Uh, I'm gonna give it maybe a second listen just to like kind of understand the the, the continuation, the, the progression of the song better. And overall the sound I like. I think it's a cool, a genty sound. It's, I think it's a cool thing that they are you know, switching it up, it's not always genty, it's not always like super choppy and, and uh, almost after the burial-esque. I like that. I like that there is a bit more variety in the guitar work. At some points, there's a lot of stuff happening in the song, like a lot of stuff, you know, and um, I'm a big fan of philosophy called less is more. <laughs> So whenever there's a shit ton of things happening, you know, ambience, uh, guitar riff, solo, uh, vocals, it all is just this big proggy cocktail that some people enjoy. I mean, of course, it's not, not for everyone. To me, it sometimes feels a bit distracting, a bit taking me out of the experience. So I'm going to give this song a nice, solid 7 out of 10. I think this band has potential. The drawbacks for me personally currently is um, it's just the style. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this style, uh, but yeah, 7 out of 10 I think is, is fair for this. We are swiftly moving to our next one. This is Audience of Rain. This is a song called Earth slash slash DK. They reached out to me once again. I think we reacted to one of their songs before and yeah. I'm excited to check this out. They are a very small band. They are smaller than Frontiers, so of course, links are in the description to all of them, so go check them out, of course. So go check them out. It's our usual drill. Uh, and yeah, let's get into Audience of Rain, shall we? Oh. Yep. Nice riff. Very cool harmony with the growls. Ugh. Wow, a lot of layers I hear. <laughs> Big voice. Okay. A very, very short chorus, I think. I think they're gonna continue it after the second verse. I think that's what's gonna happen. That's different. The bitter cold is holding me back from this hell. The rain is coming. Leaves are dead. Blood is shed. Roots are hanged. This is epic. I like it. Vines constrict. I suffocate. Break these wounds. Asphyxiate. Nice. I like that the second verse is dropping off. That was a interesting way to do it. I'll give him that. There you go. The second part of the chorus, what I was talking about. Wow. 
Where? Where do we go? Interesting. Huh. Where do we go? What have we done? Break down? Okay. I mean, it's a killer of a breakdown. Oh. Okay, this is... Th see, this is good. When you get a continuation. Sort of like expending on the initial thing. I like it. I just think the rest of the song doesn't warrant a breakdown that hard. <laughs> I feel like it's a bit inconsistent, maybe. With the dropping out verse, this heavy breakdown. I don't know, I don't know. Overall, I think this is decent. It deserves definitely more than 100 views, so... Links are in the description. <laughs> Very lovely chorus. Very big. Hmm. Great guitar work in this though. I think the guitar work is the highlight out of everything. Nice, that was Audience of Rain, Earth DK. See, this is a good song. There's a couple of issues uh, with it that I can nitpick. One of them would be, like I mentioned, the a bit of an inconsistency, in my opinion, on the first listen at least. I felt like there was a like these huge, huge differences between the, you know, the overall mood of the verse, the second verse, the breakdown, the chorus. Everything was kind of like weirdly put together uh in my personal opinion I, I i don't think the breakdown was uh very consistent with the rest of the song but you know it it's one of those simpler more standard more basic songs that also have right to exist i guess personally it's not grabbing me like i wouldn't go out of my way to listen to uh this song again uh and i think the problem with it is that even though it's a nicely written song even though it has a nice riff to it it has a pretty big and cool uh, chorus. It has, like, actually nice production. Like, it's mixed well together. It's just, there's no, like, memorability factor. And it's always difficult for a band to obviously find that memorability uh, factor. It could be either, like, a specific sound, a specific guitar, a specific style of, like, the guitar sound, a specific style of vocals. And it's, it's becoming more difficult with every day with more and more bands emerging on the scene. But yeah, I think it's a solid 6.5 out of 10. Uh, I wouldn't rate it higher because I wouldn't return to this song personally, just being honest. Just like that, we are moving to a third and final song for this uh, joint small band reaction um, series, uh, the first episode of it. Uh, and it's Sentinels to Wither Away, which has been recommended to me a lot through comments. And it is a smaller band, but it is on sharp tone. I guess it's a bit uh, unfair to include this one with the other two. I picked these at a random. I haven't really looked like into each one of them uh, too much. So that's just the way it is for this one. In the future, I, of course, will try to uh, grab together uh, songs that are more or less correlating with each other, at least with the style. Um, so yeah, this is Sentinels to Wither Away, our third and final track for today. Let's check it out. Oh, just straight into it. Unexpected. Just going in hard. I like it. I fear when I become the light is torn from the sun. But the worst is yet to come from the one you took from the world. Then left me here, right? I saw the pathway ahead. 
I'm kind of did not expect to just get hit in the face right over the bat. Oh, so choppy. What a fucking group. That's disgusting. Ooh. That is. There's so much craziness happening in that instrumental. <laughs> also, ambience. There's a bit of ambience there. Creating atmosphere. Reminds me of Ocean's 8 Alaska a little bit, maybe? These guys are fucking heavy. Super energetic. <laughs> oh! I love that lead guitar part. I just noticed that one of the vocalists is a drummer. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Oh, he's going ham too. <laughs> oh, the sludge. Ugh. Bendy, bendy. Is that it? That was a bit of a crazy song, if I do say so myself. Okay, bamboozled. Back into what is a chorus, I'm assuming. <laughs> that was a very long dropout. <laughs> Almost fooled me. That hit, out of nowhere, kind of woke me up a little bit. Mm. <laughs> Just smash it. Oh my god, this doesn't end. God damn, son. Whew, okay, that's it, right? All right, so that was Sentinels to Wither Away. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with my hairline? You see, oh my God. Right, anyways, uh, Sentinels to Wither Away. This was... <laughs> this was a crazy song. I, I did not expect it to just go in like this. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I mean, I'm not surprised they're signed. They do have that more refined i guess sound they do have a bit more of a specific sound to the bend you want to have that memorability factor while i don't think that this specific song or or band or style is like damn this is them this is this is specifically them and no one else because there is a shit ton of proggy bands that sound almost exactly like this the thing is to consistently put out something that would eventually become your style and I haven't checked more of these, more of the stuff by these guys, uh, but I'm sure if they keep going with this sort of craziness, they could become one of those really hyped up, uh, big small bands, so to speak. They sound like extreme like prog metalcore, prog like super genty, super choppy, super crazy fast paced. Uh, the drums are spectacular in this. I think the drumming on this is just unbelievably good, uh, and the fact that he's also like singing and screaming in the in, in the song is 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 honestly impressive to me uh because i would never be able to do that <laughs> my only one point that i would 
point out as negative is goddamn add some variety to screams please <laughs> the guy sounds great don't get me wrong he sounds fucking mwah, sounds beautiful the screams are very they're, they're threading this line between metalcore and hardcore <laughs> screams but i wish there was a bit more variety in how he does it you know adding a bit more lows a bit more highs here and there making them a bit more prominent um you know and not just like screaming mid screams all the way through the song because it gets kind of stale and it goes on the background hence i was paying a lot more attention to the background uh than the vocals which i guess could be the point with this kind of music but hey uh this is just my opinion i would give this song a solid 7.5 out of 10. i'm gonna have to need more listens to it to fully like encapsulate the production is fucking superb the sound is is great on everything it's it's perfectly produced mixed uh, the writing is something that isn't my style, but I can see what they were going for, and I think with more listens I would be able to appreciate it a lot more than I do right now. But yeah, this was Sentinels to Wither Away. I'm happy I finally checked it out. But yeah, this was our uh, experimental three smaller bands um, all-in-one reaction video where we reacted to three smaller bands. Uh, in the future, I want to, of course, do a bit more detailed rankings uh, stuff. This is like very spontaneous. I saw that I have three uh, songs that I wanted to react to, and I just wanted to connect them all together because I feel like it's just going to be a better way to, to view it. Um, and it's going to have a lot more people checking these bands out all together. So yeah, let me know if you like this format. Let me know if I should continue on with it but that is going to be it for this one let me know which song was your favorite let me know what you liked about them what you didn't like of course the links to them are in the description so as usual go check them out leave them comments every single one of them like 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 comment 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 and of course they would appreciate that from you um and yeah i would appreciate you doing that but yeah that was our little new experimental format thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one